Hi, this is Austin from Polyga. In this video, we will learn how to use the basic alignment tools using our software PointKit. If you'd like to follow along, the scans are available in the workflow examples under Alignment. If you don't already have PointKit installed, you can install it from shop.polyga.com. First, I'll be showing you how to use the Fast Alignment tool. So, I'm going to load up this scan and using Fast Alignment, Using this tool will align the majority of your scans. So if I go to Align, I want to first enable Show Report. This should show the alignment report once the process is completed. So once I run Fast Alignment, it will generate the report for me. So I could see there's an error here. This is essentially from aligning every scan to the next, and the smaller the error would mean a tighter alignment. So if I go back out here, I can see this is how everything aligned to each other. The next alignment tool I want to show is Standard Alignment. So if I select all my scans again and go to Align and select Standard, this is going to perform a Standard Alignment and Standard Alignment will give a tighter alignment but will take longer in comparison to Fast Alignment, which has a looser alignment but will be quicker. Now that it's finished aligning, you can see the process took a little bit longer, but the error is significantly smaller, meaning there was a tighter alignment in comparison to fast alignment. Here you can see the alignment report from both fast and standard. You can see on the left the fast alignment was a lot quicker, but the error was greater, whereas standard had a longer processing time, but had a smaller error, meaning the alignment was much tighter. The next tool I want to show is Optimized Alignment. So, usually you want to perform an optimized alignment after fast alignment. This would tighten up everything and make a tighter alignment in the end. So, to do that, you want to select all of your scans that you just aligned with fast and go to Align and Optimize. This will create a tighter alignment. And in comparison to standard, if the data is not optimal or too sparse or too little overlap, standard will sometimes tighten up better than optimize. However, optimize will yield the best results and is much faster than standard. So now if I go back into my scans here, you can see in comparison that it is much tighter than it was before with just running fast. Next, I'll show you a comparison running all three alignment tools. And here are all three alignment tools we used. You can see as we go from left to right, the alignment gets tighter as we use different tools. What I want to show next is manual alignment. So this is a scenario where fast or alignment doesn't work. So to do that, you can manually align the unaligned scans to the others. So I can select one of the scans that are aligned now, to first ensure that it's unlocked, this is in to ensure that I'm only editing the scan I want to align. Now, I want to generally move where I think the scan is supposed to be, and also selecting another piece, doing the same thing afterwards. I only want to ensure I select the two aligned scans. This is to ensure I'm only aligning the two instead of everything. Then I can go to Align and run a fast alignment. And now everything is aligned to each other and that concludes all the different ways you can align your data with PointKit. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any suggestions or if there are any other tutorials you'd like to see, feel free to leave a comment below or reach out to us at www.polyga.com contact to learn more about PointKit. Check out the links in the description below We'll be hosting more tutorials soon, so if you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Also, follow us on social media for the latest updates on features and tutorials for PointKit.